What up guys, welcome to Phenom Sound. I've got a tons of positive vibes from you guys and a lot of support in my latest video and I want to thank all of you guys for this. This really means a lot to me. I'll try to do my best to keep improving my music production skills and to teach you guys how to be better in making music. So our voting session number four has come to the end and we have a winner. It's the seventh bass, which sounds like this. And it has gotten four votes, slow down bass and neurovop number two are on the second place with two votes. And the seventh bass is the main sound of the demo that I've showed you in my previous video. And let me remind you how it sounds. And this is the sound that we are going to synthesize in this video. As you can hear, this is a nice tonal bass. Bass slash lead, I would say so. And let's start from scratch. And the sound is based on the wave table called Misfits. Set the octave to minus two. Unison at 2 and set the detune in this position. Move the level at around 80. Turn on the second oscillator and select the Evil One Grease wave table. Move the level all the way up and set the semitone at 7. Turn on the filter and keep the default settings except let's also turn on the filtering of the B oscillator. We are also going to be using a noise on this sound. Set the pitch all the way up. And let's switch to the LFO number one and set it up like this. Drag it to the level of the first oscillator, move it up and to the wave table position of the second one. Set it at around 70. And drag it to the level of the noise, set it at 70 or 65. Already sounds pretty nice. And now let's switch to the second LFO. Make it look like this. And we are going to be using it to automate the wavetable position of the Misfits wavetable. Nice, let's boost the master volume. And let's go to the global tab and reduce the width down to zero. Now let's go to the fixes tab and there are quite a lot of post-processing going on on this sound. First of all, let's enable the phaser, set the mix in this position and feed at around 50%. Move the frequency down at 400 Hz. <laughs> We've got a bit of a movement on the sound, so let's keep on. Turn on the distortion and move the drive all the way up. Let's enable the flanger and set the rate at around 40 Hz. Set mix at 75%.
also we're going to be using the EQ with a lot of automation. So the frequency of the first band at around 50 Hz. Drag the LFO to it and set it at around 70. Set the Q at 80 and also we're going to automate it using the first LFO. Move it all the way down and set the gain at 10 dB. Move the second band frequency all the way down and drag the LFO to it. Set it at 90. Drag the second Q at 90% as well and drag the LFO to it once again. We are going to set it to minus 60. And set gain at almost minus 20 dB. Now we can hear how big could be the influence of the EQ band automations. This is the one of the main parts of the Neurofunk sound design. A lot of frequency movements with simple sine waves and of course huge tone of a distortion and noise. This is the essentials. And let's use the multiband compressor. Set gain at plus 10 decibel. Move the compression on the heights down to zero. The mid compression set it at around 27. And compression on the lows at 54 or 55. Let's also move the compressor over here, right after the flanger and before the EQ. And let's also use another fix. It's going to be the filter and particularly high pass filter 12. Move the cutoff all the way down and drag the LFO to it. Set it at 60 or 65. Drag the LFO to the resonance. Set it at 12. And move the frequency all the way up and automate it using the first LFO as well. Move it down. And that's it. We are done on the serum side. Let's check on the post-processing on the FL Studio side. Let's first listen to the clean version of the sound. So as you can hear, the post-processing does a lot of things. And the first one is the frequency shifter. I've set the drive wet knob at 37%. Shift to 1.4 Hz with is on the default position, which is 100%. It adds the additional movement to the sound. This nice phasing effect. And I have the OTT compressor with depth all the way up, upwards compression somewhere at around 160 and downwards compression set at around 50%. Low all the way up and I don't know why. Let's leave it like this because we will cut all these frequencies anyway. Also, there is another powerful tool, it's the Fruity Love Filter. I've just picked a factory preset called, I guess it's the Compression Distortion, which also adds this nice phasey movement to the sound. And then I'm converting the sound into a mono signal. And Adding some low cut EQ. So now it's a mono signal, that mono bass, which is great for playing it in clubs where the system is set up to be a mono. But, but to make it nice and wide, I have a nice trick. I am duplicating the sound 
and moving it to the insert with a bit different settings. In this case, I have it set to the insert number two and, and here's how it sounds. Here I have quite exactly the same set of plugins, except there's a free Melda Production AutoPen plugin, which makes the sound floating from left to right and adds this nice wide stereo effect. Also, there is a stereo imaging from Isotope with quite a lot of width on the third band, high meets and and I've got some mod over here. So together with the main mono bass, it sounds like this. Here's the mono. And if I additionally turn on the sub bass, here it goes. Oops, I accidentally turned on the kick. So it sounds nice, fat and complete. You can hear that the, this bass is wrapping your ears from each direction and it's punchy enough for, for every kind of system, whether it's mono or stereo. So I hope this trick will be really useful to you. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. A lot more to come and don't forget to visit my Patreon page where you can find this particular project, all of the samples and serum presets from it, as well as a lot of other interesting content. So go ahead and check this out. It will be a great support for me and my channel to keep moving and to keep making nice high quality content. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and all that stuff. Share my videos with your friends on Discord, on social media, on Facebook. Just let's help each other to make a better music together. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye!